Hi, what I'm going to do in today's video is go through how to create a repeat question in Kobo Toolbox or XLS Form or ODK Collect. So let's get started. Jumping right into Kobo Toolbox, let's click on New Project and we will build from scratch. And we'll just put in a title for our form. We're going to collect some information um, from training um, participants who are coming to our training or our meeting. Okay, so uh, so let's do training participant repeat. Let's create the project. And it gives us a blank form. So let's add a question where we want to ask the person's name when they come to our training. And that will be a text question. We want to ask their phone number and that will also be a text question. We want to ask their organization. That could be a text question. It could be select, select one. Uh, so let's say it's a text question and we want to ask their email. Uh, that will be a text question. And we want to ask a for their signature. So let's add that question. And that will be a photo question, except when we go into the settings, we will then um, say in the appearance that it will be a signature. So we want to collect their signature. Okay, so uh, once you've kind of created these questions, uh, the next thing we want to do is put them in a group. So I'm clicking on the first one, holding down, oops, holding down the control key on my computer and clicking all of the questions. And I'm going to go up to the top and click on create group. Okay, so we've got the group. Let's just, um, so let's call this group training participant info. And what I want to do is I want to have all of these questions show up on the same page. So I'm going to click this little uh, settings button. Let's rename that data column to training participants. And we will show all questions in this group on the same screen. And we will repeat this group if necessary. Okay, so we'll close that. And then what we have done there is put all of these questions in a group so that they show up on the same screen. And we've said that you can repeat this group as many times as is necessary. So that kind of makes sense when you're starting a new training um, that you might want to have a, a sign in sheet, but instead of doing it on paper, you could do it um, in a group or in a in an XLS form or ODK collect form. So at the very beginning, let's say, what's the name of the training? And we will just make that a text question. Uh, so that is going to be our form. One more thing, I guess what we'll do is within each of these, we're going to turn them on in terms of being mandatory. So we're going to make each of these a mandatory response. Okay, we'll save that and let's go check it out on the phone. Okay, so we've got the questionnaire up on our phone. So the name of our training today is we're going to have a coordination meeting. And if we swipe forward, it will ask us, do we want to add training participant info? So let's say add and it will ask for the name. So let's say Jim and his phone number, his organization, his email, and his signature. So we'll gather his signature. And he's just going as Jim. So once you have his or his uh, information, then we're going to swipe forward. And it will ask, do you want to add training participant info? So we can add again, and the next person can then fill this in.
And once we've done that, swipe forward again and we can choose whether to add or do not add. So when we say do not add, it ends our form and we can save form and exit. And that completes uh, that. So that is one way to add a quick repeat question that just allows you to add one group or one repeat loop each time uh, you have a new entry or new data entry for your form. The other way to do it is to say, I want to do exactly, you know, X number of um, repeat questions. So let's take a look at how to do that. So you're back in Kobo toolbox. So what we want to do actually is not allow kind of an open ended number of repeat questions. We actually want to define how many repeat questions we want to create. So to do this, what you're going to need to do is click on this more actions and download your XLS. Once your XLS form is open, what I'm just going to do is expand these column widths and we can see the questions uh, that we've collected and created in our form laid out in the XLS form uh, format. Uh, we've got a survey and a settings uh, tab down here. And what we're going to do is before our group, so you can see begin repeat and end repeat, that is our group. We're just going to insert a line here and it's a question and we can say this is um, an integer and the label is how many training participants do you have? And we will say number of participants as the name. Okay, so we've got a type, a name, and a label. Sorry, label. And we're going to say true, this is required. Oh, and we're also going to make this true up here. Okay, so all of these are required. And then what we're going to do in the begin repeat, we're going to add a column called repeat count. And where it says begin repeat, we're going to in this column repeat count, we're going to make a reference to number of participants, participants, okay? So that means that whatever number they enter into this question that we've named number of participants, so whatever answer they give, we're going to repeat this group of questions that many times, okay? So let's go and upload that and uh, we'll see how that works. So I'm going to save that. I'm then going to replace the form, upload an XLS form. Okay, so we've uploaded that new form that we just saved. We're then going to redeploy, okay. It's redeployed it. Now, back on your ODK Collect on your phone, you're going to say get blank form again. Let's clear all and go down to this training participant repeat and it will give us a little note that says this is an update to a form you have. So we want to get the updated form. So get selected and fill blank form. And there it is, it's been updated. So when we open this, our, our training name is meeting about coordination. How many training participants do you have? So we actually have uh, three people at our coordination meeting. And this will ask for the first name.
Okay, so because we put three training participants, it's looped through that form three times. So now we can save form and exit. So that is how you create a repeat question in Kobo Toolbox and how it shows up on your ODK Collect on your phone. So there are kind of two basic ways to do it. You can either have a set amount of uh, repeat questions, okay, by asking how many repeats do you want to do? Um, and then we can, we can uh, set that number of repeats or you can just have the open-ended kind of standard um, repeat question which will just allow you to add one more repeat, one more repeat, one more repeat um, as you go. So I think that should be helpful. And if it is, I'd love it if you give a thumbs up to the video. And if you are a humanitarian or development worker, please subscribe because I try to make these uh, videos accessible to people who manage data and collect data and report and analyze data uh, for their organizations around the world. So I hope to see you around again soon and nice to meet you and have a great day. Bye.